Hey, what's up everyone? This is Johnny from johnnyfd.com. I just got a new travel backpack in the mail uh, and I wanted to show you guys why I got it and the features of it. So this is made by PackSafe and it's supposed to be an anti-theft backpack. Um, what does that actually mean? I'll go over all the cool features. It actually, it looks like a normal backpack. And what's cool is this is actually completely filled and I'll show you exactly what's inside. Um, but you can't tell that it's actually, how much stuff is actually in here. Uh, until I opened it up. Um, but the reason why I decided to, to get this is uh, I got my iPhone 6 stolen out of my carry-on bag while on the plane, uh, while I was sleeping here, it sucks. So I started doing some research and I realized, you know, this happens pretty often. And so, you know, what you can do is you can get a little lock uh, like this one. Um, and it can just deter stuff. But then as I was doing research and I started talking to friends, uh, a friend of mine named Ed, he recommended that uh, I get a pack safe mesh. This is metal. Imagine this is like metal, like a uh, fishnet that you put over your backpack. So imagine completely sealing it and then locking that. And the reason why he recommended it is not even just for people to steal things out of your bag. He's so scared that if he goes to a place like South America or, or Southeast Asia, that someone's gonna plant drugs in his backpack. Uh, and then you wait for them to go through customs and then take it out of there. So I looked into it, I was like, I don't really want to carry around this metal uh, fishnet, but what's really cool is this actually has that built in. So you can't see it, but here on the bottom, uh, the front and the sides, it has this metal mesh built in. And you can see it uh, on, on this thing here. Um, and what that does is if somebody comes and they cut your bag, so let's say in Europe, I know this is happening in Paris a lot, someone cuts your bag, some of all your stuff is falling out on the ground, uh, it'll catch it with this metal net. The other thing that uh, this has is, this actually has these metal wires that go through here, and I can actually feel it, there's two of them. Um, and what that does is, if somebody cuts here, uh, there's metal wires, so it just won't cut through. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And another cool feature is this here. Uh, this is a way where you could lock your bag, uh, and it actually takes a second to even figure out for myself. So if someone was just walking by, they're not gonna be able to just do, you know, take your bag away from you by doing this. All right, there we go. So what this does is this lets you attach it. So let's say you have a, a chair and you want it on the ground um, while you're, you know, having lunch or something. You can just attach it like that. and then you can put it on the ground next to you, and that way nobody's gonna walk off with it. Uh, it makes it really, you know, it's kind of a cool little you know, side bonus to have. And it's, it's complicated enough where if someone wanted to spend a few minutes, they can, they can unlock it, because uh, you know, it's not actually locked with a lock or anything. Uh, but to be honest, most people, you know, especially in the dark, can figure that out, because it took me a few minutes to figure it out. The other thing that's really cool is, instead of just having normal zips, um, they have these anti pickpocket zips, which right now, if you walk by and you pull this, it actually wouldn't open. It's because it actually has these little carabiner clips built in, and then you can open it. And they have that for this other one too. So if you, if you look, there's that little clip right there. Um, what's cool about it is you don't always want to have to use combination locks. So let's say you're just walking around, you're on the um, on a crowded train, and I've been on crowded trains in Bangkok, which I actually kind of felt unsafe because I felt like someone could just take something out of my backpack and I wouldn't be able to feel it. So this by itself is cool. And if you want, you can add on a little combination lock. Uh, and what's cool is these are actually metal. So these are the, the, like, the stainless steel wires. So you can, you can use that instead of just the normal plastic. Uh, and you can tuck it in which makes it cool to kind of hide it away. Uh, overall, I think this build quality of this backpack is really good. I was actually, I didn't know what size to order, so I got the 22, actually sorry, 25 liter, which in my mind was going to be huge, because their options are 15 liter, which is a day pack, and 25 liter. Definitely get the 25, because even this is just, it's, it's not that big. So the 15 would have been tiny, so I'm so glad I didn't get that. So let me show you what's actually in my bag. So. 
I have a light uh, little ring, I guess it's a windbreaker, my Bose headphones, a big bottle of water, uh, some juggling balls if I want to take a break and um, get my mind off of uh, whatever I'm doing. I just learned how to do that a few weeks ago, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, I have my mic. So this is actually my new Yeti mic. Uh, without the bass, so actually, I'm not gonna take it out, but it's it's in this tube here. Uh, this tube actually, I think I've, I got some like liquid supplements uh, with it. Actually, no, I'll go take it out, just for here. But what I do is I take the bass off of the Yeti, so it's just the mic, and I put this in a coffee mug. Uh, I have the cables in here, in this bag, so it makes it really lightweight to travel with. I have my Roost laptop stand. If you haven't seen this, super cool. You put your laptop on here. Uh, so I have the laptop as well. So this is my MacBook Air, which I'm quite happy with. And if you haven't seen the way the Roost works, it's pretty cool. Now you have a laptop stand uh, that's perfectly eye level when it's sitting down. The only downside is you have to use an external keyboard and mouse with it. So here's my Apple keyboard. And then now you have a small pocket. So I have that locked. Let me open this up. In here I have my uh, glasses that have like an anti like a uh, UV on there and also I uh, anti glare. So even though I don't need to wear glasses normally, um, I'm pretty fortunate where I have uh, close 20 20 vision eyes. If I have the glasses on, it work a lot longer, which I love. Uh, some Ray Ban sunglasses, my charger, and a mouse, a little portable logic mouse. I used to have a trackpad and it broke, and I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm gonna keep this for a while. Um, but yeah, so I mean, if you, if you look, there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here, uh, and it all fits. It doesn't fit quite as much stuff as my old, um, my old backpack, just a standard backpack I had, mainly because this has a lot thicker material for the anti-fat things, but also just this back piece is really thick. Um, so it's actually really comfortable to have to have on, and I can tell this, this material is really good. Uh, and I'm happy because it's actually not too heavy. Uh, I actually I was a bit afraid that because of the materials it's going to be super heavy, uh, but it's not bad. You have actually two straps, one on your waist. Uh, and one up here. I actually honestly can't imagine needing the one around your waist because even though my backpack right now is completely 100% full, it still wasn't that heavy. So nice feature, but not really that needed. Um, instead of using a, a laptop, laptop, you can actually run a water hydration packet through here. Uh, I won't be using that. Uh, what am I gonna use this for? Definitely when I'm traveling uh, to another city, so anywhere, you know, pretty much anywhere South East, East Asia, except if you just crowd and walk around, like Saigon or Bangkok, uh, in these big cities, or if I'm gonna be on a train or anywhere else, you know, on the street where it's really crowded, 100% I'm using this. Uh, and on the, you know, on, on planes as well, uh, unfortunately, it's no longer safe to just keep your stuff in the, the overhead compartment, assuming nobody will go through. So I'm gonna start keeping my stuff up there uh, with a lock, uh, or, you know, keeping it by me not sleeping. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep my old backpack for day to day when I'm going to like hunt space or, or co-working space uh, where I know it's safe, I know it's not a big deal uh, just so I don't smash this up too much uh, just because it's a pretty nice pack I don't know, we'll, we'll see but I'm, I'm, I could just use this day to day there's, I think if I was gonna, if I didn't have the other backpack already uh, I would just use this 100% of the time uh, it's, it's easy, it's comfortable it looks pretty cool, it's pretty sleek, you know, it doesn't stand out too much. It's, it says pack safe on it, but once I take this stuff off, I don't think anyone's actually gonna know what, you know, that this is a specially designed backpack. It's just gonna look like a normal, a normal backpack to everyone. So this is my review. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, 
You can look at the links below in the description box. Uh, there's a link to Amazon where you can buy it. It, it is my affiliate link, so if you do get it, I'll get a couple of bucks for it to send you. Um, if you want some more travel advice and kind of see what I've been up to, right now I'm in South Africa. <laughs> out of all places, that's how this all stemmed. Uh, but check out my travel blog, it's johnnyfd.com. And I'll see you out there. Ciao.